Hey guys, it's Bob Morreale here with The Tuning School, and today I'm going to be discussing with you what is open and closed loop, as a very common question we get here at The Tuning School. So, getting right to it, open loop is when you start your car up in the morning, it's cold out, the computer is handling all of the fuel and the spark, and it's, and it's commanding everything to happen, and then as that mixture gets lit, and as it comes out the tailpipe, it passes over O2 sensors, but they're cold. So because they are cold, they're not yet warmed up, you're in what's called open loop, which means it is not a closed loop. It does not have any feedback to tell it how good or bad it's doing. So if it thinks it should inject five milliseconds worth of fuel, it doesn't know that there's an error in order to fix it. So open loop is very simply cold starts and until the system warms up. Now, once the system gets warmed up, usually after a minute or two of driving, it enters closed loop, and as the spent exhaust gases go over those O2 sensors, they report back, and the computer determines an error percentage from that. So then the loop technically gets closed, and the system trims itself in. Now, lastly, if you have a narrowband equipped vehicle, which is most of your GM vehicles, uh, you're going to end up with what's called open loop full throttle, which means it doesn't know what is going on at full throttle for corrections. There's no corrections at full throttle. And oftentimes this is when people blow cars up. So because of that, tuners tend to pay very careful attention to this particular issue. So for more information about this type of tuning, I recommend you head on over to our online learning center. We have some excellent fundamentals classes that I highly suggest that you take. Thanks for watching and as always, stay tuned.